Hello everyone and welcome to WordPress User TV, the show for WordPress news, tips, techniques and interviews. In today's show, we're talking about the release of WordPress 4.8. So before we get started, if you'd like to learn how to build websites using WordPress, I have a course which I have a special discount. So just go to the show notes below, access that link and you will get your discount. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's take a look at the brand new items that we have in WordPress 4.8. Okay, so let's go through the features of WordPress 4.8. Adding an image to a widget is now a simple task that is achievable by any WordPress user without the need of knowing code. Simply insert the image right in the widget settings. Try adding something like a headshot or a photo for the latest weekend adventure and see it appear automatically. In summary, the new image widget allows you to upload or add an image from your media library to any widget area on your website. It supports links, captions and sizing. Moving on, let's move on to the video widget. So this is quite exciting because this is a great way to humanize the branding of your website. You can now add any video from the media library to the sidebar of your website using the new video widget. Use this to showcase a welcome video or introduce your visitors to your site or promise the latest or greatest content. In summary, the new video widget allows you to upload or add a video from your media library to the widget area of your website. Okay, so the audio widget. Now this is ideal if you're a podcaster or musician. Now adding a widget with your audio file has never been easier. Upload your audio file from the media library and just add it onto your widgets. Now this is quite cool because when people come to your website, you can showcase your latest podcast or your favorite song. So in summary, the new audio widget allows you to upload or add an audio file from your media library to any widget area on your website. You can also embed the audio from an external source. Okay, moving on, we are now on our last widget and this is the rich text widget. Rich text editing capabilities are now native for text widgets. Add a widget anyway and format away. Create lists, add emphasis and quickly and easily insert links. So in summary, the updated text widget introduces the basic text formatting in a visual tab with bold, italic, ordered and unordered lists and links. Paragraphs are also applied by default. If you wish to add HTML by hand, you can also do this in the text tab. Our next WordPress 4.8 feature is link boundaries. Have you ever tried updating a link or text around a link and found that you can't seem to edit correctly? When you edit the text after the link, your new text also ends up linked. And this is quite annoying or you edit the text in the link, but your text ends up outside of it. This can be very, very frustrating. With link boundaries, a great new feature, the process is streamlined and all your links now work well. So in summary, this new update introduces a boundary around each of your links. So this should solve this frustrating problem. So let's move on to our next feature, which is nearby WordPress events dashboard widget. So this is pretty cool. You can now search for nearby WordPress events just through your dashboard. So I find this quite useful if you are really, really into WordPress and you'd like to attend some of the shows around you. So because being part of a community can help you improve your WordPress skills and also network with people you wouldn't otherwise meet. Now you can easily find your local events just by logging into your dashboard and looking at new events in the new events dashboard widget. So in summary, the WordPress news dashboard widget has been updated to include events near you. When you visit your dashboard, you will be geolocated so that the dashboard widget shows you which events are near you. Additionally, the widget adds links to meetup.com, listing your WordPress meetups, the upcoming WordCamp schedule and the WordPress news blog. The final features for WordPress 4.8 are pretty much under the hood and are for developers. So this is a bit more technical for me. I'm not a WordPress developer. So what I'll do is I will link all these updates in the, in the post or in the show notes below, and then you can go ahead and take a look at them. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date with our news, tips, techniques and interviews, go to mac.live forward slash WordPress user TV and subscribe. Alternatively, you can subscribe on this YouTube channel. 
Until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.